We are at LCB Depot, the creative business centre in Rutland Street, in Leicester's cultural quarter, in September 2020. It's run by Leicester City Council. It's Leicester's creative hub, which offers 53 workspaces for creative businesses to rent, a cafe bar, meeting rooms, exhibitions and events. It's open weekdays, 9 till 5, and for a number of evening and weekend events. It now sports a wonderful beardy man by graffiti artist Smug, part of the 2017 Bring the Paint Street Art Festival. Nearby, at number 29, is Premier House, Tyler's Shoe Warehouse, known as Dick's Shoe Factory, built in 1875 with wonderful Italianate designs which we'll see on the corner when we get there. Have a look up there. And here is a welcome to the Cultural Quarter artwork by local artist Tim Fowler, whose work is among those on show at LCB Depot in the exhibition Spec 2 until the end of September 2020. There's the Ale Wagon Pub. Up that way leads you to City Hall and the Town Hall. Going back along Rutland Street towards Manhattan Bar in front of us. Next to that is the Exchange Bar. Down there, on Halford Street, where the NCP car park stands, used to be Leicester's wholesale flower, fruit, veg and fish market. And at number 9 Halford Street, around the corner, up the top, was a bicycle accessories shop that started in 1902 and grew into the car and bike parts chain Halfords named after the Leicester Street. To the left of LCB Depot, at number 33, is Rutland House. Now a mix of apartments and home to Arch Creative Design Agency. At number 35, is the Karen Buildings, a four-storey former mill building, currently empty, also Grade 2 listed. Occupants of 31 Rutland Street from the 1880s to the present day included, in 1885, William Padmore, hosiery manufacturer, typical of buildings in the narrow streets in this area and in Leicester, whose many hosiery and footwear manufacturers led to the phrase that claimed, Leicester clothes the world. Rutland Street Fire Engine Station opened here in 1892 as the City Brigade's headquarters, running horse-drawn appliances and with stabling at the rear. Here we see the fire engine and station in a photo from 1902. By 1927 
Leicester had a new, more modern fire station in Lancaster Road. And 31 Rutland Street became home to Leicester City Lighting Department in the 1930s. On street maps of the 1950s, the site is described as Corporation Yard. In 1969, a new Leicester City Transport Admin Office was built here to replace the Humberston Gate office that was demolished for the new Haymarket Shopping Centre. LCT, Leicester City Transport, became LCB, Leicester City Bus, in 1982. The bus office closed in 1986 after bus services were deregulated and Leicester City Bus became First Bus, First Leicester. The building remained empty apart from the rear courtyard being used as a car park from 1996 and for lock-up garages until 2002. In 1999, Leicester City Council's creative vision led to the development of Leicester's Cultural Quarter, which planned to revitalise the once run-down district of St George's, which was made a conservation area in 1989. This was named after St George's Church, built in 1826, and now a Serbian Orthodox Church. In 2003, the empty building at 31 Rutland Street was remodelled and expanded by architects Ash Sakula and opened in June 2004 as Leicester Creative Business Depot. The development of LCB Depot in Leicester echoes the growth of similar creative business centres in the urban and economic regeneration of other towns and cities such as Sheffield's Workstation, Birmingham's Custard Factory, the Round Foundry Media Centre in Leeds, the Media Centre in Huddersfield, and the Engine Shed in Bristol. The £4.75 million LCB Depot building kick-started the regeneration of the Cultural Quarter. Other venues opened shortly after. The 1936 Art Deco Odeon Cinema became the conference and banqueting suite Athena in 2005. In 2008, Curve Theatre opened and replaced the Haymarket as Leicester's main performing arts venue. In 2009, Phoenix Digital Media Centre opened on the site of a former textile factory in Midland Street, just down there. Makers Yard Studios for Artists and Designer Makers, which is run by Leicester City Council and managed by the team at LCB Depot, opened in 2013 in a former hosiery factory and warehouse. See our other videos for its stories. That's LCB Depot from the outside. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos of inside LCB Depot and of inside and outside Makers Yard Studios. Look out for our Heritage Open Days info on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. You can find out more at lcbdepot.co.uk and at storyofleicester.info